Scorpio, um, dare to be different, okay? That's your message. Also, one moment. Y'all know I can't write and talk at the same time, okay? Also, what's so funny? <laughs> okay, that's also your message, but yeah, dare to be different is what I got just now. Welcome, welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Amira. Thanks for clicking on this video, being here. Um, the lights are dim this afternoon as I sit with your energy. It was too bright for me, so this is what we're doing. Here we are. Okay, let's be present with one another, exchange energy with me as I attempt to provide you with some clarity and support. You can always do so by liking the video, so you can just swipe probably. Being here does it, but liking it. Um, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, check out my website. All right. Show me Scorpio, please. I feel like we couldn't leave without you. All right. <laughs> You're really important to somebody. Somebody can't. Yeah, the Two of Cups is here. Wow. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah. You're really important to somebody here. Okay. It's important to know, too, that they feel the same way. Like, maybe you were questioning this, so you weren't sure. All right. Or if they were questioning it or yeah, I feel like somebody was questioning. They weren't sure. But now like like something's grown on them. Maybe you're growing on somebody. The high priestess, queen of cups. Yeah, it's mutual. OK, it's mutual. Maybe somebody. OK, there you are. Six of cups. All right. OK. What's going on here, Scorp? All right, that's not what we're here for, but that wanted to come out. <laughs> Something in a, in a relationship is a little confusing. It's like, do you really love me? The way you talk to me sometimes is weird. Or maybe somebody's annoying you and they, that's how they feel about how you speak to them. I'm not sure. We're, we're going to throw our Celtic. All right, because dare to be different. <laughs> All right, just take your time with me as I take my time with spirit, please. This is for Scorpio. I heard you're developing quickly. That's a weird thing to say. Six of Cups is here. That's your energy front and center. it's a little different um but the placement of the cards is basically the same just bear with me okay hmm. there's a situation here scorpio where you 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 may not feel your best okay your messages were there to be different yeah you may feel as though you're ready to start over in a situation, do something that's a little, it's interesting, the, the, <laughs> I mean, I'm in a Scorpio reading, right? But it is extremely interesting, the undertones in the messages, okay? There are a lot, there are a lot of innuendos, explicit, sexual, like, but it's like, it's underneath the surface. It's, it's I just, I'm gonna point it out because it's what I do, right? Anyway, um, somebody may feel the need here to kind of just go their own way, do their own thing, okay? I just heard leave home. All right, let's pull a card on this. You're sitting in the Six of Cups energy crossed by the Five of Pumpkins. What's this about? <clears throat> your energy okay so why the five of pumpkins why is the five of pumpkins here as a challenge for Scorpio 
could be a um, Taurus that you're dealing with. Yeah, wow. The Five of Pumpkins is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, both the same card, and you have the Nine of Cups here. All right, somebody, somebody is not in a in a position of feeling as though they have what they need. It may even feel like um, somebody's being selfish here. It's interesting though because you're showing. Okay, show me the Six of Cups, please. <laughs> Maybe you're, maybe you're just considering doing something that feels a little selfish. I'm not sure. All right, the moon, yeah. And the tower, there you are. <laughs> All right, so it is you. You're considering doing something. Maybe somebody else will consider this to be selfish or it feels like you, you know, I don't know. Tell me more, please. Why is Scorpio in this? Why is Scorpio in this five of Pentacles? Well, what is this energy here? As a challenge, essentially, there's there's a need not being met, and it's crazy. There you are, yeah. And it's crazy because emotionally, here's the Five of Swords. There it is, child. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Five of Wands. We're missing the Five of Cups, right? It may come out at some point. But five, five, five. So expect the unexpected. There's a lot of changes here, or a lot of changes that are be being considered. There's a really big change or transformation. I mean, the death card is here. That's your energy, though. You're causing this, creating this, or considering this. One of those C's. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I feel like this energy is um, hidden. Okay, maybe you feel as though you would get opposition here or you're receiving opposition with this already. Yeah, here's this Eight of Cups energy. Let's just see what that is immediately since it's sitting in your subconscious. <laughs> okay. It's like maybe, you know, maybe on the outside everything looks good and feels good, but it's not good. Sorry, period. There's there's no other way around that. It is what it is. Yeah. This could be purely a financial thing, right? Purely a physical thing. It it you know, I I might feel good emotionally or have emotional support and not have the food that I need, then I'm, I'm still going to have a problem, okay? It's, this is the kind of situation that I'm, that I'm getting. Like, there's a lack of satisfaction still, so, yeah, the moon again. Okay, show me the eight of potions, please, in the subconscious space. So maybe you're trying to figure out how to get more money, more resources, a new job, um, how to do something different. I do see that somebody is considering like no longer being in this struggling place though, just plainly put, but there's something about doing that, that somebody may be uncomfortable with. Yeah. And so because of it, it's like, I, I don't even want to think about it or I try not to think about it or I'm definitely not telling anybody this or this kind of thing is, is what it feels. This could also be somebody that you're dealing with, but I mean, it's really showing up as you and that's also what we're pulling on, but you know, take it as you see fit. Okay, High Priestess, Five of Cups and the Death card. We finally saw that Five of Cups, right? Show me this Ace of Pumpkins. This is how you're presenting, okay? The Ace of Pentacles. You do have an idea or opportunity here. You have two aces showing up first and foremost. You have the seven of wands and the eight of pentacles. Exactly. 
so there is something that you're working on. Maybe you're considering working on this thing or considering starting something, considering starting a business or um, turning a skill into a business or being paid for your skills, this kind of thing, right? A new job, a new venture, whatever, something that, that would be lucrative. I see you like thinking, planning. I heard protecting. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's something about needing to protect this or maybe this is how you feel. You have the devil card, okay? So you're very protective over this idea or this money, this investment or whatever this is, okay? Especially with this Queen of Pentacles energy showing up on your mind. So let's see what that's about. Or it could be this earth sign person who is um, showing up this way. Queen of Pumpkins, please, for Scorpio. I'm getting something about cleaning. Okay, the sun is here. So the sun cleans, it, it, it cleanses, it clears, okay? I feel like it, but I'm getting something about like a cleaning business. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles is here. Maybe you're working together with another person. Um, I feel like Scorpio, excuse me. I just heard collateral damage. <laughs> okay, you may be assessing collateral damage or feeling as though you need to clear something out, okay? Something is making things more difficult for you. All right, I'm trying to say this the best way that I can, okay? All right. Hopes and fears, you have the page of potions. Your potential outcome is the star. Let's see the star card. From the universe is the eight of lightning. That's the eight of swords energy. There's something about this, like I said, that you're feeling as though um, maybe it's selfish or I don't know, you have to be in more of a Scorpio frame of mind or you have to about the four of ones okay I mean you're making this happen whatever it is four of ones king of ones here and the star <laughs> because you're determined like I said Blocking the truth, and there you are, the death card. Hmm. Somebody is choosing not to initiate change here. Maybe it feels like the timing is off. a thumbs up the video I like this video subscribe to the channel as well easy baby <laughs> what song is that all right I'm gonna pull one more for you you have act coming out act speaks to our actions right it speaks to a need to move change, decide, yeah, okay, be in that more masculine energy, one more please for Scorpio, Spirit, Scorpio, yeah, this is for Scorpio, okay, that was weird, <laughs> I'm going all out of order today, that's probably why, you're six instead of eight, okay, and you also have B, 
coming out kind of sideways and be here as well. All right, so act, clear your workspace. If anxiety is making it difficult to get started on a task or project, you can clear the clutter in your mind by clearing the clutter in your workspace. We do our best work when we have a clear work area, so make sure your desk is free of clutter. Yeah, cleaning, okay? Something about cleaning, cleansing, clearing, all right? This could be your environment. This could be your being. It could be another person. It could be your relationships. There's some kind of energy of clearing something out so that you can be free, all right? Aries kind of got a similar energy. Remove papers, books, and things that might distract you like toys and electronics. Set yourself up to do great work, all right? So act. And then you have this B card that came out sideways, which is an indication of a disconnect for me. Okay, a disconnect to one sense of self. The idea that it came up sideways it's uh it, it it makes me feel more like it's an intentional thing okay an intentionally destructive behavior all right let's just put it that way you have stone meditation when we're upset focusing on an object can help us feel calm hold a small stone in your hand study it closely like it's the first time you've seen something like this i love that mindfulness practice okay you can do that with so many things a random leaf outside a, um what do you call it a blade of grass okay a, a piece of anything that you find around you know what I mean you can really just take your time and study that thing use your imagination and um look at it as though you've never seen it heard of it or held it okay notice how it looks feel its weight is it smooth bumpy scratchy warm or cool let your breath be slow and easy you can do this with any object at any time you like okay but remember this b card was an active choice to not take that time maybe maybe to not take that time to look at something there's something here scorpio that you need to look at in more detail okay there's some truth some facts some clarity some wisdom inner wisdom even right so maybe some conversations that aren't being had that could provide you with the clarity that you need to have more more freedom there's something here about needing to call attention and awareness to that space so that you can um i heard have the divine intervention okay yeah the, to that tower energy you are the tower but something's clouding your judgment or um your space or something like that yeah again i'm getting that aries energy you may have a significant aries placement all right i'm gonna leave it there though <laughs> thanks for being here I'll see you guys next time